Hey Budget Fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. We are doing something a little bit different today. This channel is primarily a cash stuffing, cash budgeting, how I make money on Etsy, YouTube, that kind of thing. But we are doing a video a day until 100K, meaning until we hit 100,000 subscribers. I would appreciate if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel and help us meet that 100,000 subscriber goal. Today is a little bit different. I am sharing my kids clothing haul with you guys. Now that we're doing way more videos, I would like to branch out and share a bit more of my life, how I do things. So I'm not only sharing this recent clothing haul, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I set up my kids clothes as well as like how much clothes I I like to keep for each of them and what types of clothes. With all that being said, let's start with some of the basics. I do have two sons. One of them is about to be six and one of them is about to be eight. Clothes for them is kind of my thing. For me, I wear whatever. It's just, you know, single mom life. Like I don't care so much about how I dress, but clothes for them is just kind of my thing. I think with the way the world is, meaning like how social media is has like taken over everything. I do like to have them well dressed because the schools take pictures, the extracurriculars take pictures. We take pictures at our homeschool group. Now you guys will notice on this channel, I don't have my boys on this channel. I don't post them all over social media. That is a whole other video and conversation, but I did just want to set up the groundwork that Clothes for them, yes, I spend a lot of money in comparison to some, but it is just something that's important to me. Another thing I know a lot of you guys mentioned, because this is a budgeting community, I wanted so badly to go to a thrift store or somewhere and get clothes for them this time. I did not do it. I stuck with what I always do, which is the basics of this haul and as I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm just so particular, so I think it would take a lot of time thrifting and searching through things to find exactly what I want for the boys. So let's jump into this haul and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna take you to the closet where I organize all of their clothes and talk through that a little bit because that might be helpful anyway. So I did spend $410. I would like to say I do these kinds of hauls for my boys maybe a couple times a year. This isn't like an all the time thing, but when I tend to get them a lot of clothes, it is because either Kohl's is having a really good sale or Belk is having a really good sale. Now, Belk is a department store that is located in Southern State. So if you don't have a Belk near you, it's worth checking out their online store, not sponsored or anything. I just really love Belk, especially when they have some of those big sales. This is all a Kohl's sale. I did spend $410 and then I got $70 how many times in this video can I, will I say I spent 410? But I did spend the $410 and the, these clothing items were on sale. And then I got an extra $70 Kohl's cash. So basically I got $480 worth of stuff here, but I only spent 410. Anyway, let's get into it. We're gonna start with my younger son because he did not need as many things. First things first, I did get him these Columbia shoes. I only buy two shoes for my boys. They get a tennis shoe, which is also like their school shoe. Boys are so easy. And then they have a water shoe, which last year it was Crocs. This time around, it is Columbia shoes for Atlas. I want to say these were like $24. So they weren't super on sale, but this is one of the things I got with the Kohl's cash. So it did not matter as much to me. His tennis shoes are still fine. He just needed the water shoes for outside play, for water play, for any of those kinds of things. And then tennis shoes are worn to like school or summer camp or any of those, anything where they request a closed toed shoe. So jumping into clothes for Atlas, he has this Under Armour shirt to pair with these Under Armour shorts. Again, I am just, I'm a name brand person. I would love to hear what is popular in your area. Under Armour and Nike are what is the most popular thing for boys in our area. I think it was $11.99 for the shirt and then like $9.99 for the shorts. Second set for him, these orange shorts to pair with this shirt. And then a third Under Armour set for him. I thought this was really, really cute. He is a very naturey child, so I know he's going to love this one. Next thing I have, which I do tend to buy name brand for the boys, but I thought these were just a deal I couldn't pass up. I wanna say the shorts were like $4.99 and the shirt was like 
$5.99 or something. It is, I think it's a Kohl's brand, it's Jumping Beans. Now I am not a parent that micromanages what they wear. I put nice things in their closet. If they wanna mix and match it, if they want to, sometimes Big Brother will be wearing Little Brother stuff and it's way too small, I don't care. I don't tell them what to do, I just, want to give them the option of having nice stuff so when they are teenagers or adults i don't hear about it right uh but whenever we are going fishing or something and i know it's going to be absolutely messy and just destroy the clothes i like to have other options on hand next thing so something i like to do is go through their closet and see what doesn't have a match anymore this is shorts that i bought at one time with atlas my younger son already had this in his closet and so i bought this this Nike shirt to go with it. Obviously it's gonna go well. This is a little like clothing hack that I like to do too. I like to pair a name brand shirt with off brand or no name shorts because it looks like it's a full outfit. Nobody's gonna stare for the little swoosh on his shorts, right? So my friends that are watching this that actually have money are like, you put way too much thought into this probably. That is something that I intentionally do. I will get just a, you know, $4.99 pair of shorts pair it with a Nike shirt and it looks like a full set. The last thing Atlas got was this Nike shirt. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but this is a gray in the middle and he has a Nike gray pair of shorts that are still really nice. So I'm going to pair that with this. So that is six new outfits for Atlas. He also will get handed down a few things from brother and then I will go pick up a couple things to make those sets work. For example, if big brother is passing along a couple of shirts, I then might just find a couple pair of shorts to match those shirts and make it like a whole refreshed outfit. And on that same note, I only like to have like 10 outfits for the boys. Now they will accumulate random shirts from like BBS or sports, like uh, practice shirts and things. So they do acquire some random shirts that aren't these sets, but primarily like this is what they're living in. I only like to have like 10 outfits that keeps everything super organized, easy to put back together easy to store and after we look through Jericho's little haul here we will go look at the boys closet and see how I or I'll explain how I organize that and stuff so okay you can tell I'm not used to doing clothing hauls on this channel not the greatest at it but we will get there so first outfit for Jericho is this Adidas set it does have Adidas shorts and then this Adidas shirt this next outfit is kind of a, a play or camp so I have the shirt and then the shorts that match it. Next outfit for Jericho is this Under Armour shirt and Under Armour shorts. So for Atlas's Under Armour stuff, I wanna say, say the sale was all like $11.99, maybe $9.99 for some of the shorts. For Jericho's Under Armour Nike brands and stuff because he is going into a size eight, so it's the bigger kids, his was $14.99 for each one. So if you think about the fact too that we were getting Kohl's cash for these purchases, it's not, it's not that bad as far as, like, it's not as bad as it could be. This is another sort of play outfit for Jericho. It's the jumping beans. So again, if we're going camping or fishing or something that I know is particularly muddy and gross, he, we have this. Jericho is obsessed with cars lately. So this says let the good times roll and it just has these motorcycles on it. And then same brand, just just plain shorts. Next is Under Armour. This has a sort of fishing logo. I'm not sure if that's picking up. And something that Jericho already had in his closet was he has these Columbia, Columbia PFG. He already had these in his closet. So some of these next shirts I got just knowing it was going to pair with something that already fits him well and he already had. The lighting is not picking this up, but this is a light khaki. He has a darker khaki and then an almost brown and they still fit him well. They still look good. So this is going with one of those pairs of khaki shorts. This is going with another one of those khaki shorts. It's just an Under Armour shirt and then an Adidas shirt that has that matches some of his shorts that he already has. Another pair of shorts he already had that still fit really well and still look really good are these blue khakis. I thought that he could pair the with this Adidas shirt. And then he does have a few shirts that do not have a matching bottom yet, but I need to be on the hunt for them at a good price. And we are almost done. We have a, his shoes and then we will go look at the closet. So this Under Armour shirt, it is regularly $20. Again, it was like $14. $14.99. If you guys have a good spot you'd like to go to find Under Armour or Nike and you can get it at a discount, please let me know where that is. 
I would I'm very curious another Under Armour shirt and the last Under Armour shirt for him Okay, so moving on included in that $410. I did get boxers for my son For my oldest son my youngest son is fine. I'm not going to show those for obviously Let's not make it weird reasons and then I did get socks for my oldest son again My youngest son is fine in that area. He didn't need any new ones My oldest son is into these higher socks, which I think is coming back to like wear socks with sandals I've been seeing that is that a southern thing or is that happening everywhere? <laughs> but I did get him some some tall Under Armour socks. It says these are $16 and honestly I might have paid full price for these or it was like $11.99 socks. I don't find branded socks go on sale very often. And then again, Under Armour socks, it says these are $18. I do feel like these were $10.99. So I ha he has 12 pair of the short socks now and he has three pair of these taller socks. He does have some Under Armour tall socks I think like three pair already and then my younger son is fine with socks and underwear the only other two things that I got that I'm actually gonna have to take back are we I got these as my older son's water shoes like I said we only do tennis shoes and water shoes at least that's what it's been so these were his water shoes they are too small and then I was going to give my older son a third pair because like I said I'm seeing people wear sliders with tall socks like boys his age are doing that so i got these but they're too small so he did not tell me that his foot grew when he put these on and they were too small i said well do your tennis shoes still fit and he said no they're really too tight i'm like okay that is something you need to tell me right so i am going to be returning these shoes and getting a size larger but that was also included in the 410 dollars so i feel like that was a pretty good haul for the amount of money it was. Now, $410 split between two kids to have like a $200 haul and to get this much stuff. Basically, they are completely set. They have everything they need for at least the next four to five months. Okay, so that is it for this haul. Let me go show you guys the closet really quick and show you how I organize stuff and make everything fit in a small house with two little boys. So this is their closet and this is everything they own clothes wise. There's also one clothes bin down here. Now that is all stuffed animals and that is all cars, but right there in the middle is clothes. So let me talk about how I organize this and why I do things the way I do them. Over on, let's see, this side, this side and over is all of the clothes that my youngest son has. Basically, as they grow out of things or as they completely stain and destroy things, I end up pulling them from the closet. And this is kind of like what's left before a haul gets put back in. I haven't put in the new clothes yet. You can see this is all of the shirts that he has. He does have just one long sleeve shirt. I think Miranda sent this one. Thank you to Miranda. You asked a lot of questions. My youngest is obsessed with axolotls and he does wear this shirt all the time just because it is what it like it is the axolotl. <laughs> So it is actually his favorite shirt, but for the most part, he is a kid that runs really warm. So he does not like long sleeves. He just has these short sleeves and you can see like, it's mostly Under Armour, Under Armour, Nike. And then there are a few things that have made their way in, like some, some clothes that aren't what I like originally bought in a haul, but maybe a family member sent it. Anyway, okay. So he just has a few shorts left. Of course, he's wearing a pair today, but this is what's left for him. So when I go through and clean out some of these things to introduce the new clothes, like I might get rid of some things that are stained, then I might repair. So basically, whenever I'm putting in a new haul, I will go through anything that is almost too small or that is too small will get thrown out. Anything that has any stains, rips, or tears in it, it will get thrown out or donated depending on what kind of condition it's in. But just to give you guys an example of sort of how I re shop to make outfits work this shirt came with these shorts but this shirt has gotten too short I don't know for whatever reason it is just short for the size but these shorts still fit him perfectly so I will get rid of this shirt but then all I need is a Nike shirt that's going to match these shorts and then we have a brand new outfit and same thing for Big Brother's clothes some of Big Brother's clothes that is a little too small for him though will get put away for whenever it fits Little Brother and then I can remake an outfit with that one but you will see he just has a handful of shorts left even though we start out with like 10 pair 
and then a couple pants over here. Now we do live in South Mississippi. I just went through and anything I know that's not going to fit them by the winter, I threw it out or donated it depending on the condition. So there's only one pair that I think might fit Atlas next year. And there's three pair Jericho is still wearing. Now Atlas runs hot, but Jericho runs cold. So I did keep more pants for him because he's likely to pull those and want those at some time. Another note, because you guys might be wondering, they only need one light jacket in the winter. Cause again, South Mississippi doesn't get that cold. So Jericho's should still fit next winter. Atlas's will not fit, but his rain jacket sh should still fit. I only buy one light jacket, one rain jacket. So this winter, Atlas will need a regular jacket. Jericho will need a rain jacket. Did I cover all the things? I think I covered all the things. So moving down in this tub, one of my kids gets the top drawer. One of them gets the middle drawer that has some just like pajama pants, pajama shirts, things that they really shouldn't wear out because it's just really messy or maybe it is just a pajama set, but they really love it. It goes in that drawer. So does their underwear and their socks. The bottom drawer is where I hold on to things that don't quite fit my younger son yet. They were like handed down from brother and they go in there. So that's basically like our in-between sizes drawer. Sometimes too I, I'll buy things for Jericho on a really good sale and it will go in there even though it's not getting handed down from Atlas. It's still too big for him so it goes in that bottom drawer. So that is everything in their closet. Boys especially I think are just so easy. So that is it for this haul. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I know I have some improving to do on this style of video. Anything that's not a cash stuffing or an overhead video, I always struggle through just because it's a new layout and new content for me. So I appreciate it if you stuck it through all of that. I am curious, like I said, to know what is popular in your area with kids. What are they wearing? So like I said, boys here are typically wearing Under Armour or Nike sets or brands. Have different for variations of that of course some people really dress it up I like to keep my kids in comfortable clothes so that's why I do things the way I do it girls I would imagine is a lot trickier but <laughs> I I thankfully only have to dress and worry about two little boys but anyway I should get going I love you guys I appreciate you for being here and I will see you again tomorrow bye bye <laughs>